So, you know, and this is your prep on finding the nth term of a sequence. You can find the worksheet in the links from this uh, video's description. Um, I thought what I would do is just give you a couple of examples to remind you of what we did in the lesson. So, the first sequence that we've got here, the first thing we need to do is to find the first difference on this sequence. So we see how much we're going up by each time. Okay, in this case, uh, 14 up to 18 is plus 4, 18 up to 22 is plus 4, 22 up to 26 is plus 4, and so on. So straight away, we know that this is a linear sequence, and so that it fits into our two boxes pattern. Our two boxes look like this, something times n plus or maybe minus something else. Now, what we know already is that the first difference is what goes in this box. This box here contains the first difference. And in the second box, we put t0, the zeroth term. Now, the first term is 14, the second term is 18, the third term is 22. So what is term 0? Term 0 is the term that would come before 14 in this sequence. And in this case, because we're going up in 4s, it must be 10. So 10 goes in this box. So what is the nth term of this sequence? Tn is 4n plus 10. OK, I've got a second example, which goes 8, 3, negative 2, negative 7, negative 12. Let's look at the first difference first of all. To get from 8 to 3, we take 5. 3 to minus 2, we take 5. 2 to minus 7, we take 5. Negative 7 to negative 12, we take 5. So the first difference is negative 5. It's constant all the way through, so we know we can use our two boxes. The first difference goes in the first box, so we've got negative 5 ends already. The second box has t0 in it. So what is t0? What comes before 8 in this sequence? Well, 8 plus 5 is 13, so it must be 13. So the nth term for this question is going to be negative 5 ends plus 13. And sometimes it's neater just to write 13 minus 5 ends. I hope the prep goes okay, and if you have any questions, please come and see me about them. Thanks.